Welcome back, friends. Today we have some beautiful mahi-mahi that we have marinating in a pretty simple marinade, which I'm gonna show you here shortly. It's one of the ones that we carry, but it's perfect for this kind of quick marinade, uh, really nice grilled fish. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna do another little recipe. We're doing it indoors, but this would be great for your grill. And it's supposed to be a beautiful weekend, so that's why I'm gonna show you this. So you wanna get those grills fired up, hang out in your backyards, have a nice little uh, cookout, cause enjoy the weather while it's here. So again, we've got this beautiful mahi that's marinating. I'm gonna give people a minute or two to start tuning in here. Um, and again, I've just been marinating this fish now for about half an hour, not long. We're just doing kind of a quick marinade. Again, this is mahi mahi, and this is just a very, very simple marinade. Um, it's this Japanese marinade that we carry. Again, perfect for doing these fishes like this for the grill. Very simple, all you gotta do is just coat your fish, let it sit for half an hour, and then cook it up, which is exactly what we're gonna do. So very easy to do, this stuff is great, works really well on a variety of fishes which we have available this weekend, including we did the snapper yesterday, which was delicious. Um, we all have a ton of that this weekend. We've got a ton of grouper. We've got mahi-mahi. Uh, again, lots of great grilling fishes because it's supposed to be a beautiful weekend. So you definitely want to get on that early and plan ahead so that you can have a very nice, beautiful cookout and enjoy that weather while it's here. So I've got my fish. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start heating my pan like so. And I'm gonna let that start to cook. And while that cooks, I'm gonna make just a very simple kind of uh, vibrant slaw to go with this. Just to sit on top, just some fresh vegetables, fresh shallots, bell peppers, a few different things that I'm gonna build. It's gonna pair really nicely with this fish and some just grilled vegetables. So again, super easy to do. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start, I've got some shallots here that I'm just gonna slice. And I like to do these pretty thin. That's gonna kind of help mitigate the bite a little bit while still adding that. Plus you get the sweetness from the shallot, which is nice. A little bit of the acidity, which is good. Again, this is just gonna make a really nice raw kind of slaw that we're gonna use to top this fish with. So very easy, but very delicious and a great accompaniment to grilled fish. Now again, obviously I'm not grilling this today, we're indoors, it's a little rainy out today, but that is not supposed to be true tomorrow. So hopefully, again, you all take advantage of this and get out and do some grilling. Tis the season, it's here. May 1st has arrived, we're into spring, so perfect. And this is heating up nicely. So what I'm gonna do is I've got some red bell pepper as well that I'm just gonna cut into thin little strips like this as well. And this is gonna go nicely in our slaw. And to this, I'm gonna add a bunch of fresh herbs that's really just gonna help everything pop. So again, I'm just kinda cutting some thin little strips here for this. You can cut it into cubes if you want it to as well. You could use a hot pepper, like a Fresno, or you could use some jalapenos in here. That would also be very nice. Again, there's a lot of different sort of directions you can take this, and you should. Experiment, play around. This is just kind of a rough idea what we got. This is also based on what I have on hand from earlier this week. So it's a great way to kind of clear out some pantry ingredients that you've got on hand that need to be used. Just something really fresh and vibrant. And again, it's gonna pair really well with our fish. So like so, perfect. My pan's starting to get good and warm here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of vegetable oil. Just kind of spray it down, prevent my fish from sticking. And then I'm gonna season up my fish just a little bit with some salt, 
Okay, we've already got that marinade on there, which is gonna be really nice. And I'm gonna take my fish, and I'm just gonna set it right down in the pan. You can hear that it's nice and hot, so we're gonna get a good sear on there, which is exactly what we want. So I'm gonna drop that mahi in there, and let that just sort of do its thing. Move this off to the side for now. And also while that's going, I've got some asparagus spears here that I'm going to drop in and let those kind of cook along with the fish. Nice. Usually chopping peppers with garlic and olive oil to keep. You can certainly do that. Uh, you know, just preserve them in your fridge. Check and see how I'm doing here. Looks pretty good. And we're gonna get kind of a nice caramelization with that, which is gonna be great. So I've got my mixing bowl here, and to that I'm gonna add my peppers and my onions as kind of the base for my slaw. Like so. Now the other thing I've got here is I've got some pickled ginger that I just kind of dried. Now I know I get used accused of using this a lot, but honestly it's like a quarantine little pantry staple. This is a great way to add fast flavor to a lot of things. So I'm going to go ahead and just rough chop that and throw that into my slaw. That's going to bring kind of a bright zinginess to everything. That's really nice. Uh, we've got some fresh herbs here. I'm going to add a little bit of cilantro because I want this to be really herbaceous and bright. So I'm going to add some a few pinches of fresh cilantro. And then I've got some basil leaves. Thai basil would be excellent here. Let's see how my fish is probably ready to be flipped. Oh yeah. This is smelling great. Again, this is mahi mahi that we're working with here. Let's toss my asparagus a little bit. Looking good, looking good, looking good, smelling good. And I've got my basil. Now with basil, the best way to cut it is to stack it like so. And then, ginger you keep in the fridge with a jar of water. That's interesting, I've not heard that before, but you could uh, certainly do that. Ginger also freezes really well, so you can put it in a little plastic baggie in the freezer. But I've got all my basil stacked. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna roll it in almost like a little basil cigar shape like this. And now I'm gonna slice because basil, you don't wanna cut through more than once because it can turn black on you. So you just wanna go ahead, I'm gonna cut this fairly wide because I want some good size pieces of basil in there, but you can cut it kind of as finely as you want. And I've also got a little bit of green onion, which I'm gonna add in there too. Just a little bit of a different texture because I've got some that I need to use, so why not? Let's go ahead and give this a rough cut. Throw it up to the greens, like so. And then this is gonna go right into the bowl. So now what I'm gonna do is just give this kind of a gentle toss, get all those ingredients together. We've just got a very bright, herbal, oniony sort of thing going on here. Which again, it's just gonna be a great little sort of salad slaw to accompany this fish. So we're doing good here. My fish is looking like it's coming along pretty well. Just gonna check on the inside a little bit, see how we're doing. It's got a little ways to go yet. Give that asparagus another little toss. We're doing good. In fact, I'm gonna season up that asparagus just a little bit since we haven't added salt to that yet. Perfect. Go ahead and toss that around. And we're doing pretty nice here. Beautiful. Now we're going to finish off this slaw, which I'm gonna use some fresh lime juice. Again, we're looking for these really bright flavors here. And get some of that juice out of there, like so. See, I'm using my tongs to just break up some of those cells inside that lime. 
so that it releases all of that juice like so. Yeah, this is going to be really bright, big flavor, really nice. To that, I've got my chili oil. You've all seen me use this before. This is one of my favorite things. This is going to add a little bit of heat, a little bit of nuttiness because it is sesame oil based. So I'm going to add just a little bit of that. You could use regular sesame oil if you wanted. And I'm going to use just a little soy sauce. Yeah, just a touch. Just building a real simple dressing here. Nothing super elaborate, something very, very simple. So there we go, we've got a really nice bright herbal slaw here, perfect, that I again just made using stuff that I had on hand. Uh, we do sell the basil, we do sell the cilantro, we do sell the asparagus. So we've got some things here that you could definitely get from us to help make this process easier at home less places to go, season with a little bit of salt, and we're good to go. This is perfect. I'll show you kind of what I'm looking at here. You can see this really nice, bright bowl of flavors. So good. And again, this is gonna go great with this fish, really well. Because we've got that nice marinated fish with this like Japanese marinade that we've got. And this fish is looking, again, to check the doneness on your fish, again, you can just use your spatula and sort of pull it apart in the middle where the flakes are, sort of see where you're at. And we are coming along pretty nicely here. Still got a few minutes left to go. Get my bottom doing there, good. Fish is starting to get nice and flaky, which again, is exactly what we want to have happen. So perfect. Now we just kind of got to let it do its thing. And when that happens, let's cut some scallions here that we can use for our garnish. Again, just for that little finishing touch, you know. Even watching these videos, you know, I like to make it look nice at the end. So I'm just cutting these kind of on the bias here. Nothing, nothing fancy. And this is just gonna be a nice little topper for our fish. Um, and again, it's gonna add a little bit more of that. It's gonna go nicely with the salad. You could just chop these if you didn't wanna mess around with it. You could just chop these and throw them right into the salad. That would be fine too. However you wanna do it. It's entirely up to you. So I've got my scallions for my garnish. Let's also go ahead and cut some lime wedges for our garnish. Just a little extra squeeze of flesh lime right at the end is always great, especially for this kind of marinated fish. Really good, super easy. Again, this is gonna be a great little weekend grilling dish. I highly recommend doing this on the grill. Again, I know I'm doing it in the pan right now and that's just because of space. There's a lot of customers outside right now, so it gets kind of loud out there. We got our wonderful asparagus. And you could use any kind of grilled vegetable um, for this. Um, some broccolini would be really nice here. Um, there we go. Again, lots of different things that you could do to work with this um, or to pair with this. Some grilled zucchini would be really nice. I know grilled zucchini is actually one of my favorite like summertime grilled vegetables. So certainly something you could do that would be very, very, very fantastic. All right, so we're looking good. Everything's sort of coming down and wilting together, which is great. You could do this a little bit ahead of time if you wanted to, that wouldn't be an issue. So let's go ahead and plate up. So I've got my plate. Go ahead and put our asparagus spears down. I'm just gonna sort of arrange them loosely on my plate. And you do this however you want. I'm gonna take my fillets. I'm gonna set them right on top of the asparagus. Like so. Beautiful. 
beautiful. This is going to be delicious. And I'm going to go ahead and top this with a little bit of that slaw. Just going to wipe off some of this extra stuff here. Toss this around and get a good scoop that's got a little bit of everything on there right on top like so again this is just really nice bright flavors you know if you had some crushed peanuts or uh, some cashews that would be really nice on top here too just add a little crunch and really nice beautiful little grilled dish for the weekend and if you wanted to, which, you know, we kind of do, I want to take a little bit more of this marinade here and just use it as a little uh, extra sauce for my plate. So I'm just going to go ahead and drizzle this around. Obviously, this would be easier if you were using a bowl. Just sort of drizzle all over. Perfect. And then we've got these little scallions that I saved that we'll just sort of scatter around. Okay, this is a nice little added garnish and some lime wedges, which you can just sort of place around however you want. And there we go. Again, this is so easy, but really delicious. Yeah, you could use raw cashews, you could use toasted cashews, however you wanna do it. Just cut them up, mince them up, and sprinkle them over the top. Um, some fried onions or shallots would be nice over the top of this as well. Um, yesterday I did the fried coconut to top my snapper. Uh, some of that would be good on here too. Uh, but so easy, this is really fresh. Really bright, perfect for the kind of day that this weekend is going to be, you know, tomorrow and Sunday are supposed to be pretty nice from my understanding. So again, really nice, just very bright, big flavors, exactly what we want from a weekend cookout. So hopefully you come down, check some of this stuff out. Again, this would also work really well with the snapper that we've got on hand, the grouper we've got available. Um, we've got lots of great grilling fish, plus this mahi mahi, perfect for the grill. So definitely come down and check it out. We've got the marinade, we've got the asparagus, we've got the basil, we've got the cilantro. We've got most everything that you would need to make this. So if you do make it, take your pictures. We want to see, obviously, tag us, share it. You know, we always are look forward to seeing stuff. You know, we get lot tagged a lot of stuff on Instagram, which is great. Otherwise, you know, subscribe. If you're not like us on Facebook yet, which I'm guessing you have if you're here, do that. Uh, subscribe to us on YouTube. All these videos go up on YouTube once we're done. Um, so you can go back and rewatch if you need some more tips or tricks or you just want to re-see how it goes. Subscribe there. Otherwise, have a good, safe, fun weekend. Eat well, enjoy yourselves, and we will see you back next week.